this area over here, the Chaos Lord. Just wanting to see if any Dark Reapers show up, but uh, as it happens, the Dark Reapers are on the complete other side of the map, heading at, um, getting into position now. Probably going to push straight into the, the Chaos base. Success. We'll see what happens. All, of, all fleet of foot on, and uh, the, the Raptors are over the other side of the river right now, but it won't be too long for them to return. Uh, Dark Reapers pushing now, putting some pressure in on the LP2. Darky's probably going to want to get rid of Fleet of Foot here, and, and he does so indeed quite quickly. Six uh, probably want to pick up that Heretic as well, and yes, picking up the Heretic. Here come the Raptors now. Uh, Raptors are going to have some difficulty against uh, three Dark Reaper squads, because you can always just uh, split them apart and keep one squad shooting at all times if your micromanagement is good enough. And uh, LP2 here against the Chaos Lord and the three Guardians. The uh, Chaos Lord should probably be held off for, for some time. But uh, yeah, the Chaos Lord just can't really get much done at this point. So much requisition streaming in here from Darky. He's got 142, sorry, 140 uh, requisition bonus plus 40 power. So that's that's a really impressive economy. His his requisition is just streaming in right now. He doesn't really need to achieve very much with the Dark Reapers. After he hits tier two, that's going to be Falcons, going to be Harlequins, going to be uh, be whatever he needs. This is Soul Shrine nearly done now. So he's going to hit uh, tier two roughly the same time as Darky. And uh, yeah, I just really wouldn't want to be Darky in this situation. So, uh, can't see any tier 2 stuff being, being begun yet. Maybe we'll see Machine Pit or Five a uh, Sacrificial Circle. Looks to be a Sacrificial Circle. So, fair enough, we'll probably see some Corn Berserkers, uh, Sorcerer, 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 Sorcerer abilities. Have to wait and see how that turns out. Looks like the Chaos Lord has actually demolished the LP2, so good job there. It's reduced Darky to 128, uh, I think it is. 128 requisition. Plenty of Raptors still alive. And that uh, Sacrificial Circle having been, been completed. Here come the Dark Rivers now, pushing straight in. The uh, Chaos Lord uh, is holding his ground actually because the, uh, the the Raptors are coming from back on. Raptors pushing in now. So uh, the Dark Rivers will be forced to return. No problem for them doing that though with Fleet of Foot. Here they go now, just straight back into Eldar territory. What the Eldar player will want here, what Dark will want to do is get some uh, Harlequins. And he has got his first one, and a squad of Fire Dragons, so this Fire Dragons is going to be totally free to head over to, 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 to Tomorrow's base while the Dark Reapers are holding up the, the Raptors, and once those Raptors get in range of that uh, Harlequin, it's just going to be pain because the, the Raptors won't be able to tie up the Dark, dark Reapers as effectively after them being knocked down with Dance of Death and being splashed with uh, Kiss of Death, Kiss of Harlequins, Kiss, kiss however you want to say it. Uh, oh, some Corn Berserkers and a Sorcerer, so uh, that's just going to be that's going to be that's going to be Kamora's last stitch attempt here. Uh, Sor Sorcerer uh, charging in. Maybe he'll be able to do something if he's got Chains of Torment research, but I don't think he has. Otherwise, he would have used it. Uh, Chains of Torment would be able to knock out a whole Dark Reaper squad, and he really wants that right now. Uh, unfortunately, though, the Harlequin is knocking everybody down with uh, Dance of Death. I feel like he should be able to build some more um, Harlequins, but uh, he just doesn't quite have enough power to build any additional Harlequins, I guess. And uh, there's the Falcon, and there's the the the, uh, the Fire Dragons in the background. That's probably going to mean doom for uh, for more space because uh, Kamora is pretty much dedicated to attacking all the troops right now. Here come the Fire Dragon and the Falcon. Deadly, deadly combo. One of the one of the nastiest things in this game right now, the current patch. And uh, there we go. Fire Dragons taking out LP2s. In the meantime, a big combat being embroiled here with the uh, Harlequin using Kiss of Death on the. Uh, on the, the Berserkers, and we've got uh, got Dark Reapers in the background uh, taking Fleet of Foot off now and just getting a whole bunch of hits slamming into these Berserkers. Berserkers, man, dropping like flies, and in the meantime, we've got uh, Gamora's economy dropping like flies. Uh, the Falcon cutting down the Heretics there. The uh, Fire Dragons won't do too much damage to them, but the, the, fire, the, the Falcons definitely will. And that's GG, says Gamora. Uh, GG replied there from Darky. Uh, a little bit of a comment there about the balance of this matchup, and unfortunately, it has gone Darky's way. So Darky will take this game out two, two to one. Uh, the match match score is two to one. So we're going to go into game four now with uh, Kamora's turn to pick the map. We've got some horrors here to take out the Falcon, but a little bit too late. And wow, this is turning out to be an exciting series now. If if Kamora can take the next game. It will go to a winner's eight uh, takes all game five, and wow, wouldn't that be exciting? Man, look at all those plasma generators. It's just got huge plasma generation right now. Plus 79 to power, plus 147 to requisition. There's no way that you can stop that uh, in, in this sort of situation. It's chaos, and just sending in some more horrors, even though that um, Darky doesn't have any uh, vehicles left. 
Just uh, doesn't really matter. Once those Dark Creepers show up, those horrors are going to be uh, toast. And uh, that is it. Well, anyway, you've been listening to Ball. I really enjoyed commentating this game, even though it has been a bit one-sided, unfortunately. Uh, Eldar, my favourite race still, even though they're a bit imbalanced in this, uh, this, this uh, current patch. Sorcerer of Deagle 2 there from Kamora. And Warp Spiders, so that'll seal it if, uh, if nothing else does. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, again, VRI going very, very well. Uh, we'll have the rest of the games. Uh, this best of five up this weekend, I'm hoping.